Hey, what's going on, guys? Teddy Verti here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how you can create custom stairs, um, pressure plates, buttons, and also we will do fences, as they're they're pretty easy. Uh, we'll go over other ones in the future, such as slabs, fence gates, ladders, saplings, uh, doors, chests, um, all the other stuff. We'll go over them in the future, but for now, I think we are just going to go over these ones. So, these ones will be in the title. Um, so, yeah, let's go into our init class, into our block init. New, because we're doing it new now and first let's go ahead and create the let's create the stairs first because the stairs is pretty easy so what you need to do is just do a public static oh let's not mess this up final registry object of block Obviously you can do this with object holders if you want to, um, it's the exact same as all the other ones really. Um, it's just the class is slightly different. So, um, And which one are we doing first? We are doing stairs. So let's do um, example underscore stairs. And we're going to make that equal to blocks dot register. First is the name, so that's just example underscore stairs. And then the supplier, double bracket, and then arrow, just like that. And that is going to be a new stairs block. As you can see, that takes in a supplier as well. So and this supplier is the block state so this is basically the block that you want to use for the stairs so I am using um, I'm going to be using my example block um, from my old block in it because um, I think that's a pretty sexy block um, so I'm going to be using that it's basically the block that you want the stairs to look like um, yeah so obviously if you didn't want it to work like that and you wanted stairs which don't have their corresponding block you would need to make your own stairs class and uh, redo all of that because by default it uh, does it by this supplier now whereas previously it didn't do that um, yeah and that is just for me that is blocking it dot example underscore block um, dot get because I think it wants a default state so we've got dot get default state and the properties is just block dot properties dot create material dot uh, I don't know uh, I think we did glass did we did we do glass no we made the sound glass but it's material.sand uh, obviously if you wanted it to be um, one of our blocks in here that would just be block in it new dot death block dot get dot default state dot get default state um, so it's pretty much the same except you need the dot get before it so you can actually get the block but because my example block texture is on the old um, block in it, uh, we have that that in there. Um, and that's actually it for the stairs. So the stairs are very simple, as you can see. Okay, so next we are going to do... Um, what should we do? We'll do a fence. So public static final registry object of block and this is just example underscore fence and that's going to equal blocks dot register the name is just example 
underscore fence. Supplier is once again uh, the block class that we want to use. So that is just a new fence block. And that just takes in the properties. So block dot properties dot create material dot um, once again same thing. So sand. And I'm also going to do um, what's the other thing you can put in here? Ah. Uh, You can also do something else. See if I can find it. What's the other thing? Uh, dye color. No, material color. That was it. So you can also do the material color. Um, I haven't shown this off before, but you can also do material color dot whatever. Um, I'm going to set it to gold. Yeah. Whatever. And, yep, yeah, that's correct. Just got to import it. There you go, that's your fence. Now the button and the pressure plate are slightly different as if you try to do it like this, it will give you an error as the constructor for the button and um, pressure plate class are protected. Therefore you can't initiate a new, um, a new one. So what we need to do is create our own classes for those. So let's just go in our objects.blocks package and create a new class. Um, and I'm going to be calling this mod um, wood button block. And this is quite simply going to extend the um, wood button block. Just like that. And just make sure you add the constructor. Now instead of it being protected, we want it to be public so that we can use it as well. Um, as this class is not in the same package as our init, it has to be public. Um, so yeah, that is the button. And let's now do the uh, yeah, let's now do the pressure plate. So let's once again create a new class, and this is going to be for a wooden pressure plate as well. Um, mod wood pressure plate block it's quite a long class name and this is just going to extend a wood pressure plate I think it's called or um, it might just be pressure plate it might not have pressure plate block yeah it, it doesn't I don't go specifics because it uses the sensitivity and just make sure that's public it's very important and because this is a wooden one instead of uh, supering off of it you can literally just super off of the sensitivity uh, everything is wooden and mobs is stone um, I'm just going to use everything in fact, in, um, yeah, let's not do that actually, and then we can not call this a wood one if we don't do that. So let's rename the file. There we go, and now we can pass that in, meaning it's not a wooden one specifically. So that is those done, and now we basically just need to uh, create them in here. So first we have our public static final registry object of block first is the example underscore button and that is equal blocks dot register oh what on earth happened there what what did I do oh, I've done this before I accidentally switched the the language I don't know how I do it there must be a hotkey to do it or something um, which I'm not aware of and I keep accidentally doing um, so yeah so we've got our example button and then supplier is just going to go to mod wood button block um, which is obviously going to take in the material well the properties uh, block 
dot properties dot create material dot um, sand and I'll do the map color again because why not map color dot gold um, it's not map color it's material color map color was 1.12 but now it's material color. You can also pass in a dye color. Um, I don't entirely know the difference uh, in in those, but there must be one. Or at least I would assume. What am I doing wrong here? Undefined for the type blocking it new. What am I doing wrong? Register. Oh, I see. No, I didn't put new. Oopsies. Okay, and then for the pressure plate, that is once again just a public static final registry object of block. And that's example underscore uh, pressure underscore plate. That's going to be blocks dot register uh, dot register example underscore God I keep messing up and I don't know why. Okay, and then the supplier once again a new mod pressure plate block sensitivity so this is just going to be wood um, even though my block isn't wood um, I'm just going to say it is wood and the properties is just block dot properties dot create uh, material dot sand and material color dot gold um, let's actually do that with this one as well, just because consistency. So, um, material color dot gold. There we go. Oh, I don't want to format it like that. It's quite ugly. Okay, so that is now it for the code. Now, the JSONs um, are a bit of a pain, um, but thankfully we can just copy vanilla um, and it will work perfectly fine so let's go into our assets and block states and okay let's go into our referenced libraries let's go client extra assets minecraft block states and we can just grab the acacia one that's always the one i do Okay, a new untitled text file in there, paste it in, and instead of block underscore acacia, block slash acacia underscore fence, we want um, tutorial mod colon block slash example underscore fence, and just replace all yep that should be fine and then we just save that so source main resources assets tutorial mod block states and that's just example underscore fence dot json make sure you put dot json of course and now if i go back into that we should have our highlighting nice um the next one um, I'm just going to copy the example fence. Oh. And this one can be um, pressure underscore plate. And let's just do the rest as well while we're at it. So button and stairs. So we can go into the stairs and the press plate and the button and we can grab the acacia button as you can see this is quite big um, because of all the different 
ones that there is for like sealing down powered on all the different things and there's lots of different states for buttons so we just want to replace block slash acacia with tutorial mod colon block slash example just replace all here we go uh, if you're wondering how i get that menu up it is just control f um, and that's for finding um, and control h is um, for more advanced finding um, and if you want to find uh, classes you can do control shift t um, or i think just control t no it has to be control shift t and that allows you to find type so for example um, overworld and then it comes over all the overworld stuff anyways that's unrelated so we can close the button now uh, next for the pressure plate it's only two for this of course because there's only powered and not powered so we can actually do the same one there there we go and close that close these two Okay, now for the stairs, which are right there. Obviously, the stairs are massive um, because of all the different states that there are. Two stairs, um, you know, corners and stuff. There's a lot, to put it simple. Um, and now for the block models. So we need, to put it simple, a lot of block models. So. The best way to do this, um, I think we can copy files from here. Let's try. So let's co try copy the free Acacia button ones. Okay, it didn't work. It just pasted a snippet. That's what I thought it might do. Okay, so I'm going to go um, ahead and copy all of these um, and just paste them in and uh, change all the names and I will see you guys once I have done that okay so I have now done that and I have done all the lang as well so you need to make sure you do that as well and uh, yeah now I'm going to run the game and uh, yeah I'll see you guys there okay so guys I am now in the game and there is one thing that I forgot to mention now for your fences to work they need to be in the forge uh no in the minecraft fences tag as that is how uh minecraft determines to connect a fence or not so uh, i actually forgot to put it in this tag um, but it's very important that you put it in this tag otherwise it won't connect to itself or any other fence or anything really um so you do need to make sure it is in this tag it will only connect to other blocks um, but it won't connect to itself or a different fence so if i simply go ahead and pause that for a second and go into here go into data uh, minecraft tags dot blocks uh, a new um, untitled text file if i just put in here got to try and remember what it was it was something like replace and then that's false uh, I might have it in the anvil one let me have a look ah yes there you go so pretty much like this instead of that it is um, tutorial mod colon example underscore fence if we just save that source main resources data minecraft tags blocks and this is just fences dot json i think it might be fence dot json i'm not i'm not sure um we'll see though and now if i just go back into the game refresh my adjet uh, add adjets assets um, it won't connect instantly because it hasn't received a block update um, 
I might have named that Jason wrong though. We'll see. Um, so if I update, yeah, I think it was fence dot Jason then. Um, yeah, because that's still not connecting. So uh, I didn't think it was fences. Let's have a look. Uh, client extra data Minecraft tags blocks fence. It's fences, it's sure fences. Hmm, interesting. Did it load it? it? Oh, it might not have loaded it. Yeah, I don't think it loaded it. So I'm just going to restart the game so that it loads it because um, some things don't reload from F3 and T. So yeah, I'm going to rerun the game and we'll see what happens okay so i am now back in the game um and yeah here we go they are now connecting um i just had to fix that up um, and add the tag to it so as you can see one one small thing um is that they don't connect to wooden fences um and they don't also connect to never brick fences. Now this is normal behavior because never brick fences do not connect to birch fences. However, you might say acacia fences connect to birch fences though. Um, and the reason is because acacia is a wooden fence. Now we have not specified this is a wooden fence. We only added it to the fences tag, not to the wooden fences tag. So if you wanted uh, it to connect to wooden fences you would need to add it to the wooden fences tag um, but I didn't do that as I just thought uh, it's just easier to do it like this um, the button works I, I mean you can't hear it but oh you can slightly hear it and the press plate works fine as you can see um, all the stairs are here I don't know why that looks so weird Oh yeah, because I did it the wrong way around. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, I know what I did wrong to make that go so weirdly. There you go. And voila. Um, so yeah, just so you know, um, just a quick update. If any of you are really confused, um, this is now where I'm going to be doing my showcasey stuff um, for the mod so I'm gonna try and stick to this one world um, as much as I can and this is basically my base uh, as you can see I'm not the best builder in the world um, I just built a little simple structure type thingy um, so yeah um, one thing I would like to mention before I end this video um, is I may not be able to post as much um, for the next uh, two or so months um, as I have my exams coming up for school um, so I have to do a lot of work with that obviously um, as they're quite important exams um, <laughs> yeah they are definitely definitely quite important so um, I apologize if the videos um, if if they you know spread apart a bit more a bit more um, I am struggling with time during the week um, I'm barely managing to fit this for one in um, so yeah um, I hope you guys you know um, I hope that's not too big of a deal um, obviously I can't post all the time um, but when it comes to the summer holidays I will be sure to um, get loads of videos out by then um, I do know that well I don't know but I think 1.16 will be out by then um, and hopefully the code hasn't changed too much um, from what I've heard from a few people it's mostly the same but they changed uh, never generation of course um, as it is the never update and there's now biomes in the never so they needed to change that um, 
and there was something else they changed. I think they changed entity models, but I might be wrong. Uh, there was something about entities, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.